Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on interpreting the odds ratio in logistic regression when you have multiple independent variables. As always, if you find this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I certainly appreciate it. I have here in the SPSS data editor fictitious data, and I have four variables. One is an ID variable for participants in the study. The second is assessment. This is a continuous variable. Then I have two categorical variables, one named license and another named admission. So when working with a binary logistic regression, we're going to have one dependent variable and that dependent variable will have two levels. In this case, the dependent variable is admission. And let's assume this is referring to admission in a brief counseling skills training program. We want to determine assessment and license, these two variables, how they contribute to membership in the admitted level of the independent variable admission and the not admitted level. So are these two variables predictive of being a member in one of these categories over the other. So assessment could be a counseling skills assessment with a higher score representing a better developed set of counseling skills. And license would just be whatever jurisdiction that counselor is in, it would be the license status. So a counselor would either be not licensed or licensed. So here we're only recognizing two levels. We're not including any type of graduate or associate license. Either somebody is licensed to practice independently or they're not. That's all we're considering for this variable. So we want to measure the contribution of these two independent variables on this dependent variable and interpret the output in SPSS, which among other output is the odds ratio. Before I move to the analysis, I want to cover a couple of points. One is a logistic regression, whether in, like in this case, a binary log logistic regression or a multinomial logistic regression, which would be if the dependent variable had more than two levels. We have assumptions that have to be met for these statistics. In this case, I'm not going to cover those assumptions because I'm focusing on the odds ratio but it is important to be aware that this statistic and the multinomial logistic regression have assumptions. Also, the coding for each of these variables. Now, moving to the variable view, you can see that license and admission are both nominal, and here's the coding for them. Not licensed, zero equals not licensed, one equals licensed for the license variable, and for the admission variable, 0 equals not admitted and 1 equals admitted. To see this in the editor, go back to the data view, there's this button up here on the ribbon A1. You see the zeros and ones are displayed and press it again and you have these labels. So now moving to the analysis to conduct a binary logistic regression, I'm going to go to analyze, regression, binary logistic, and the dependent variable in this case, as I mentioned, admission is the dependent variable. And I have two independent variables. And notice here they're referred to as covariates. So it'll be the assessment independent variable, and the license independent variable. Under options, I'm going to add classification plots and the confidence interval for EXP beta. Press continue and then click OK to conduct the analysis. So again I'm not going to focus on the assumptions here but rather move to the odds ratio and before I look at the variables in the equation and that's where the odds ratio is I'm just going to move down to the end here with this graph and Note here that predicted probability is of membership for admitted. So this is important, admitted. So that helps us to interpret 
the odds ratio. So we have these two independent variables loaded in this table, variables in the equation. Assessment, this variable is continuous, and license, this variable is dichotomous. It only has two levels. And if we look at the EXP beta, we can see for assessment the value is 1.034 and for license it's 3.154. So what do these values mean? So these values are not probability probabilities, rather they are odds ratios. So the way we interpret this, I'm going to start with the license variable, the categorical, the dichotomous variable here. This value, this 3.154, this tells us that if a participant, in this case a counselor, is in the license category, if they're licensed versus non-licensed, there are 3.154 times more likely to be admitted into this brief training program than if they were not licensed. So it's, in this case, licensed versus not licensed. That's what the odds ratio is referring to. So they're over three times as likely to be admitted than non-licensed counselors. So what about the assessment variable? Remember, assessment is not a dichotomous variable, it's a continuous variable. So how do we interpret the odds ratio for that? It's the same way, except we have to consider that this variable is not dichotomous. We're not looking at just two levels. It's continuous, so we're looking at this incrementally. So what this odds ratio here is saying is that for every one unit that we move up in assessment, so as this variable increases incrementally by one point, the odds of being admitted increase by 1.034 times. We could also look at this as it's 3.4 percent more likely. 1.034, 3.4 percent more likely. Similarly, looking at the licensed independent variable, we have here 3.154. This would be 215 percent more likely. If it was 1.15, it would be 15%, 2.15, 115%. So at 3.15, it's 215% more likely. So a key odds ratio in these variables in this table would be 1. So because these odds ratios are both above 1, the being admitted level of the dependent variable is more likely as we see change here in the case of assessment incremental change or in the case of license moving from not licensed to license. If these odds ratios were below one we would interpret it as less likely. So instead of 1.034 if this value were 0.99 we would say it's one percent less likely to be admitted as you moved up in the assessment variable as you moved up by one point. And if we had an odds ratio for license that was 0.5, we would say that a licensed counselor was 50% less likely to be admitted into the program than a non-licensed counselor. So it's important to keep in mind how the value 1 is interpreted here for EXP beta. If you had a value of exactly 1, that would mean that the odds are the same. So there'd be no difference as you moved up in points in assessment and no difference as you looked at non-licensed versus licensed. I hope you found this video on interpreting the odds ratio with two independent variables to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.